There was a time when the F-22 Raptor stood as the ultimate symbol of American air dominance and cutting-edge military technology. It led its generation with unmatched stealth, speed, and agility. But in an era marked by rapid technological advancement and the emergence of new global threats, even the most advanced aircraft require upgrades to stay ahead. In this video, we'll explore the enhancements the F-22 has already received and dive into what could be coming next with the so-called F-22 Super, a modernized version recently mentioned by the U.S. President as the world approached the new millennium. The U.S. Air Force was wrapping up development of its next-generation stealth air superiority fighter. It intended to replace aging fleets of McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagles and General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcons. This initiative was known as the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF Program. Its primary objective was to create a dominant fighter capable of neutralizing any airborne threat, especially in a potential conflict in Central Europe against the USSR and Warsaw Pact countries. This air-centric focus was reflected in the programs. Codename Senior Sky, the final competition for the ATF contract came down to Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin. Northrop presented the YF-23, an aircraft optimized for speed and stealth. But military leaders chose Lockheed's YF-22 for being less risky and more cost-effective. Even today, many believe the time for the innovative YF-23 may still come. Before the YF-22 demonstrator evolved into the F-2 to production model, Lockheed's team made extensive design changes, reducing the wing sweep angle, trimming the vertical, stabilizers, reshaping the rodome, optimizing the fuselage and air intakes, and eliminating special air brakes. These modifications not only improved aerodynamics and stealth, but also strengthened the airframe, eventually delivering an 8,000-hour service, life verified through nearly 20,000 hours of wind tunnel and ground testing the F-22's maiden flight, occurred in September 1997 under test pilot Alfred Paul Metz. And it officially entered service in December 2005, the Raptor became the first U.S. fighter to combine supersonic cruising, extreme agility, stealth, and sensor fusion in one platform, enabling it to thrive in environments where other aircraft would likely fail. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines with thrust vectoring, it surpassed even the legendary F-15 Eagle in performance, generating superior thrust without relying on afterburners. Its dominance was proven even before deployment. In exercises three years before its service entry, the F-22 annihilated 12 F-15Cs in less than two minutes. This was a shocking feat, considering the F-15 held a perfect record of 104 wins and zero losses in air combat. The Raptor's design made it nearly impossible to detect or track. Engineers achieved this with smooth surfaces, serpentine air intakes, curved engine blades to obscure radar returns, and liberal use of radar absorbent materials. Internally, it housed a spacious weapons bay and systems to reduce infrared signatures greatly, reducing its vulnerability to heat seeking missiles. Since 2021, new chrome like coatings have been spotted on the F 22 proving stealth against modern infrared search and track systems, which have rapidly advanced in the past decade. Even today, the Raptor remains the stealthiest fighter ever. Built boasting a radar cross-section more than 15 times smaller than the F-35, Lightning II and over 100 times. Smaller than China's Chengdu J-20, it was also outfitted with the most advanced radar and avionics suite of its time. Oh. Its sensor fusion capabilities allowed the pilot a seamless view of the entire battlefield. Information from the radar, communication, navigation and identification systems was processed by two mission computers, each capable of handling 10.5 billion instructions per second. Remarkably, the F-22's onboard sensors gave it threat detection capabilities, comparable to the Boeing RC-135 Rivet Joint Reconnaissance Aircraft allowing it to function as a mini-AWACS and provide coordination and targeting for Allied forces. Lockheed. Martin has repeatedly teased integrating modern infrared systems into the Raptor fleet, notably the Topschurst system. First deployed in 2022 on private contractor Tactical Air Support's F-5 Advanced Tiger Aggressors, it's expected to make its way into the Raptor. 
Ironically, an IRST was originally planned for the F-22 but was cut. Late in development due to budget concerns. However, in the 2010s and early 2020s, the Air Force renewed its interest. By FY2025. The service's budget request included funding for aggressive development of advanced IRST sensors, in addition to infrared upgrades. Newly designed low-observable external MSA. Fuel tanks were photographed on F-22s in spring 2024. These are especially important given the strategic challenges in the Pacific Theater, where vast distances and improved enemy air defenses necessitate greater range. The F-22's modest 530-mile combat radius makes these upgrades vital. Like older 600-gallon tanks, the new tanks can be jettisoned mid-mission along with their pylons restoring the aircraft's stealth capabilities. Another long-awaited enhancement is the Scorpion helmet-mounted display HMD system from Thales. Finally integrated into the F-22 in late 2024, the HMD allows pilots to aim missiles like the AIM-9X beyond the aircraft's centerline simply by looking at the target. Though the missile was introduced earlier, pilots had to rely on less dynamic targeting methods due to the lack of an HMD until now. Scorpion is modular, which means upgrades can be applied via software updates, much like a smartphone or PC. Among other notable upgrades are the addition of new beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile JATM, developed by Lockheed Martin. The F-22 is also being equipped to operate alongside collaborative combat aircraft CCA drones. Part of a larger shift toward manned-in-manned, -manned, teaming within both the Air Force and Navy, public interest in the Raptor spiked again following a statement by former President Donald Trump during a 2025 meeting in Doha, Qatar. He called the F-22 the most beautiful fighter in the world, and revealed plans for a very modern version dubbed the F-22. Super. While the Raptor hasn't yet faced the kinds of high-end threats it was built for, it has seen recent. Action most notably, taking down several Chinese. Spy balloons over U.S. territory in 2023, restarting F-22 production, would be a colossal undertaking, with estimated costs exceeding $60 billion. Thus, the most likely scenario is upgrading the existing fleet of 187 Raptors rather than rebuilding entire supply chains and manufacturing lines. This path is also more realistic considering the ongoing success and mass production of the F-35. Lightning II is for what exactly the F-22 Super will include. Only time will tell. Now it's your turn. What upgrades would you like to see under the wing or inside the Raptor? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one at Newsy Nation. We dig deeper into what the defense headlines don't say, because behind every upgrade lies a bigger strategy.